Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Engitopia. Yes, we are in City Skylines making an engineering paradise. We've got thousands of residents in some very efficiently shaped cities. Very efficient. Nice. Just like our highway designs. Although not all of them. We also have realistic projects like the Stonehenge Tunnel, which I worked on in real life. As well as some things I've always dreamed about such as efficient industrial areas, using all the bridges, and housing architects in a poop moat that creates infinite power, which now includes a poop chute so that we can have boat tours. And that's the first thing I will be fixing today. So I had some great comment suggestions. Basically, we've got a bit of a problem with this poop chute. Uh, it tends to dry up occasionally. I think people sort of flush their toilets roughly at the same time. It's probably like they're watching TV and then they wait for the adverts and then they run to the toilet, do a cheeky poo or something, and then flush toilet and then come back to watch the rest of the TV show, uh, which is great. That's fine. They, they can do that. But it doesn't help our boat tours because as we saw last time, when this does dry up, the boats just get stuck. So you can see this guy, the, the poo is about to run out and look, he's grounded. So the suggestion was, why don't I just add some sewer pipes to the top of this? So we need this, the water drain pipe, and we're just going to try and put them on this edge. Oh God, it doesn't look very easy. We might have to expand the top. Basically, I'm just making this wider. Right, I can put one there. I don't know if that's going to help too much. It should do actually. Yeah, let's try and get another one next to it, I reckon. Aha, uh -huh, yes, the joys of mods. The joys of mods. I've managed to do it. Right, so there we go. I think we have constant poo flow now. now what does that symbol mean? Crime rate is high at that ferry stop. <laughs> There's no one there. No one can get to it. <laughs> How is crime high there? Right, anyway, time to move on to something important. I just spent more money on this game. Because uh, basically last episode, I bought all the DLC. Uh, mainly for this, my oil fields, which now don't work. And actually, that's something I need to fix as well. Apparently, this is all my industry. Hence, I don't have any industry demand for this area. So I'm probably going to delete those. But first, the DLC I bought. We now have airports. Yes, airport areas. Oh, goodness. We are going to have some fun with that. But first, let's try and sort out our actual city. So we pumped out all the oil from here. So this is all pointless. We're going to delete all of these. Oh, please tell me there's a way to do this. Not individually. <laughs> I don't want to have to say yes every time. <laughs> Alt, shift, no. Control? No, oh, balls. <laughs> oh, well, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Ooh, okay, it's over. It's over. <laughs> If there was any OCD people watching that, I'm very sorry I didn't manage to do an entire row in order without missing one. I did actually try. I did try, I promise. <laughs> oh man, we're half an hour into the footage. I've done nothing. <laughs> I've just deleted some stuff and put a poo shoot in. Delete all these roads, which thankfully I can do without pressing enter every bloody time game. By the way, commenters, if there is a way of doing that where I didn't have to press enter every time, don't, don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Right, okay. Sorted. Hopefully, demand should return for industry, which down here is this third column. There's still no demand, but when it does, this area should fill up with buildings. Uh, oh, I do need to try and get rid of this thing as well. How do I delete this? Delete! Delete! <laughs> we don't want black gold anymore. A race industry area. There we go. Right, that's much better. Much better. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, dele I'm deleting all that. You're gone. You're dead to me. No more oil. Right, so airports then. We want to come into transport and go on to airports. Yes, what do we have here? We've got to create an airport area first. Okay, so in here, paint airport area. Nice, okay. So I want like a big terminal down here, another big one there, and then probably running parallel with that road. I'm guessing that's where our runway is going to be. I uh, don't know, not really sure how it works. Oh, look at that though. It's proper leveled it out. I mean, it's left a few rocks. I think we should probably delete those. And the airport will not be called Pearl City Airport. It'll have a much more sensible name, I think. Okay, so we got terminals. Okay, let's shove a terminal down somewhere. Maybe there. Congratulations, you probably should just walk as reach level one. Oh, we've got loads of buildings. Okay, so we can build concourses, control towers, taxiways, runways, hangars, hotel. There's all sorts. There is all sorts. Okay, so it looks like we've got to build a concourse first. Oh god, it was really freaking me out there. I thought it was circle and it was like at a weird angle. But no, it's just a weird oval shape. Damn architects. So it looks like I extend this. 
wherever I want, but it's got to be inside the airport. Okay, okay. So we've got a concourse. We have a concourse. Next, we need to connect the control tower right down this end. So you can clearly see what's going on. Then we've got aircraft stands. So we'll plonk these down. We've got all these aircraft stands and they're all attached to like a roundabout of a taxiway. It's not the roundest roundabout. I'll give you that. Now we do have over here, we're poking out a bit. <laughs> You never want to be poking out, so let's poke ourselves back in. And basically, I'll just do that by expanding the airport area to cover our road. Sorted. Right. Next up, we need to put the runways. I need an efficient way of fitting all of our runways in here. All right, that looks good. That looks good. Now we've just got to connect them all up, now, which probably means turning on the Fine Road Anarchy mod, which just means I can draw roads wherever I want. No limits. All right, so we'll come off this point. We've connected to that runway. Nice. Same there. Same there. There's another one. And you get the idea. I've connected all of them on now. Now I just need to do the off roads. All right, and there we go. Runways are in. Uh, next up, Oh god, we got we got warning lights. We need electricity and drainage. So it appears our current electricity. Get it? Current electricity. No, okay. Uh, appears to have like a max range. It's sort of stopping at that pylon. You can see these blue ones are all lit up. Over here, they're not. So we might have to do a new route. So I'm probably going to come from these guys. Oh no, they're not connected to the grid. Okay, well, we can connect these guys to the grid. So we can say, come along here, connect up to there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then we can just take this over the river, down here, over the motorway, into there. Jobs are good and I think. Yes, we have electricity. Now we just need drainage. Oh, we've still We've still got we've still got the old <laughs> that's when this area was a residential zone before it was an oil field yes it was actually a residential zone i destroyed lots of houses to get that oil but that's in the past now we're now an airport so we're going to connect up to there under to there so that's those two covered and then we're just going to take a drainage run all the way up to there i think all right and then you'll see we've got our first planes the first planes are taking off ready 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 oh is a runway long enough yes it is just about it's just about long enough. <laughs> oh, wow. This is fantastic. I wonder where they're flying to. Where are they flying to? All right, come back, planes. I want to see where you're going. I can't, I can't actually go any further. They're just circling up in the air. What are they doing up there? What are you guys doing? Uh, anyway, it looks like our airport's sort of overgrown already. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Big ass trees grow through the runway. That doesn't look ideal. Uh, but I was, I was hoping to attract some more aircraft from this. We've literally got like no one. I was sort of imagining planes just flying everywhere, going all directions. That's a little bit disappointing. So they're taking off there. Where are they likely to want to go? Perhaps this end of the map? Or maybe down here so the commuters can get there straight away. Yeah, people could commute to work via the airport. Interesting. Okay, let's build a very small airport here and see if we can get some traffic going to it. And again, we have a suitable name for this one. So the key to this is getting the runway at the right orientation. Orientation. That looks good. <laughs> it might be worth doing like a double runway to be fair. All right, so we'll put our terminal in. We got to do a concourse. Got to shove a tower in somewhere. And then we just want everyone to be able to get to the runway like that. And then when people land, they're going to want to get back onto there. But also some planes, they might want to go straight through to this runway. And likewise, they might want to go back that way as well. And we'll just connect our road up. And there we go. The planes are spawning. I'm very intrigued to see how these are going to take off. <laughs> what is that? There's a log in the runway. Better delete that. Because we wouldn't want something bad to happen to our passengers now, would we? All right, so if we click on a plane, are passengers boarding? Yes, passengers are boarding. And they're going to take off at the last place you'll ever visit. Oh, they're all going at once. They're all going at once. Right, what's going to happen here? <laughs> oh, oh, he's turning, he's turning. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Straight, okay. That was the last place those guys ever visited. And this one, is he going to make? Oh, dear. Oh dear. But there's one more. Our last hope. Oh, he's done it. He survived. <laughs> right, so a one out of five success rate for this airport. I will take that. I will definitely take that. Meanwhile, over here is just a ghost town. Like, where's all the plates? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the biggest airport ever and there's just there's no one there's nothing i don't know i don't know oh we're looking down here it looks like we've got some industry we got best parts nylons galore frank's fine fish stick factory we got we got it all down here industry is back in a big way they're still building what have they built here i don't even know but the chimney looks like a backwards cigarette and we definitely have a log problem like who's who's leaving logs everywhere <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, airports are in. I'm a bit worried where my planes have got to. I know that these ones probably aren't coming back. That wasn't the most successful of takeoffs. But this one... Oh, oh, speak of the devil. They're back. There's a land. Oh, he went through the tree. Oh, bloody hell. Make hand break. <laughs> that was dodgy. Right, but we can see how this works now. He comes to the roundabout and then just heads back like that. Nice. Successful, I'd say. And there he goes, pulling in. Happy passengers. Oh, and I can see there's another plane up there. Well, this one's nose diving in. Bloody hell, mate. Pull up. And he's touching down. He's touched down. Oh, and handbrake turn again. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with your tail fin? What the hell? I don't... That doesn't look right, mate. Oh, he's... Oh, he, he's dead. Right, I've just added a small feature to the airport just to make it stand out above the rest. Uh, a lovely building with 360 degree restaurant at the top. So you can see all the runways. You can see all the planes beneath you. We've definitely achieved. <laughs> look at these bridges, man. <laughs> Right, so basically the idea behind this airport was to take all the cargo and industry stuff from this lovely place, uh, give it a nice direct route out of the city. However, looking in here, there's an air cargo tab and to unlock all of these, you need a level three airport and you should probably just walk and the last place you ever visit, they're both just one star levels. So I've just been looking, how can I attract more people to my city? I mean, I thought it had everything a tourist would want. I mean, look at Architect Hill, who wouldn't want to come visit this place? <laughs> It's beautiful. There's dead architects everywhere in there. Uh, but yes, if you come up to here into the info views, we can have a look at our tourism. You'll see we only have 66 weekly tourists. And zooming out, if you ignore all the all the dead body icons, that's fine. That's fine. I'll deal with that another time. Uh, you'll see there's really just not much tourism going on. There's not much attractiveness either. Yeah, I tried to do what I could in the airport itself. I added a load of hotels, some hangars and parked planes. Apparently that's what tourists like. Uh, but it's not enough. It's not enough. We need to build some sort of tourism venue. You know, I think part of the trouble is Stonehenge, they bloody, they put it under a tunnel. So now no one can literally come and see it. So it's not even a tourist attraction anymore. It's just a load of rocks in a circle. All right, so for my tourism area, I reckon this spot of land looks ideal. Although, although, look at this, look. We've actually done it. You should probably just walk his reach level two, which means we've got all of these buildings unlocked. Ooh. So to reach the next level, we need an attractive score of a thousand. We're currently at 840, so we can do that. Just build some more hotels. Uh, but we need 10 times as many passengers. <laughs> Oh, that's so many. So yeah, I think we'll build some touristy stuff over here. So in the tourism and leisure tab, we've got all sorts of things. I'm going to solve two problems at once by building a road through this person's house. So now there's no longer a dead person there. Nice. And then along this edge and this gap, I'm going to build what every tourist person would like to see. Tourist person? Is that the name of them? Tourist. <laughs> <laughs> and that is an entire line of skate parks. Look at this. This was literally my dream as a kid. I would have loved this street. And we've named the road after one of my favorite games as a kid. Tony Hawk's Pro Streeter. Right, so that should attract some guests. Although I'm not sure. I feel like these, they have like a radius. You know, visitors last week, zero. Tourists last week, zero. Who are these guys then? Oh, man, look at the animations of this. Hey, look, watch, watch this guy here. He's going to drop in. There he goes. No, I didn't get air, pussy. Nice little grind, goes around, and then he gets off his board and he runs back up the quarter pipe. <laughs> That's so cool. Meanwhile, this kid looks like he's getting dizzy because he's made a skate nader. Skate nader t-shirt coming soon. Uh, look at this, we've doubled our passenger count, so that is good. But yeah, I. Ideally, I think we need skate parks dotted around the city. Because whilst these guys are all nice and blue now, they have high levels of entertainment. Uh, most of the city is red and dead. So we'll go around adding skate parks. Look how happy that's made people. That is not how it works in the real life. <laughs> People hate skate parks for some reason. Damn used and their roller boards. To be honest, that's probably going to be me in a few years. I'm getting to that age where I'm starting to feel bitter about everything. It's like, how dare that child enjoy themselves? It makes me so angry. Man, I am spreading joy and happiness right now, though. Who'd have thought 20 years on, Tony Hawks would still be spreading this much joy? <laughs> oh, no, these... That's why our industry's failed. There's no skate parks. All right, these guys complaining they don't have electricity. So now you don't have a house. <laughs> All right, looks like we've covered most of the city, although we have neglected the bulls. So we, we do need to work on the bulls a bit. Please, please don't take that out of context. But yeah, let's shove a skate park in there. That should help. Yes, he's gone from red bulls to bluey bulls. Make him even bluer. This, this video is going in a weird direction. 
All right, so now we are well and truly entertained. So the question is, will that attract more people? 1,300, not that many people. So I think we'll just build a few more of these sorts of buildings. Like an airport lounge. Ooh, very smart. Let's build two of them. Build a fuel depot in that gap. Maybe two of those. Apparently they add attractiveness. <laughs> Let's build a luxury hotel there. That is very fancy in my opinion. I'm literally just going to fill the gaps with planes. Because uh, that makes your airport look more attractive. To be fair, it actually does look a lot more like an airport. Now there's planes everywhere. Uh, but looking at our attractiveness score, we've we've already achieved. We've peaked attractive. -ness. We just need to gain some more passengers. We're on 1800. How can we gain more? Maybe we can build an elevated airport metro station and add metro to our city. So I sacrificed a couple of gates, but we've now got metro. Now we need to work out how to use a metro. <laughs> what is a metro? Is it like an underground? It's very much overground. Very much. So we're going to take this over this road. Oh, and if we go higher, we get a big old bridge. Okay, we might have to use the bridge tool. Although I got a bit carried away. I forgot this is the, the World Heritage Site. We can't have Stonehenge looking at a bridge. As nice as it is, this is meant to be natural. Although, <laughs> ignore those wind turbines in the background. So we will be keeping it sensible and just following the edge of this road. Probably at ground level as well. I know, boring. Boring, realistic. But look, we've come to a chasm. Now we can bridge. All right, there we go. We've got a direct link. I just need to add the line. So I say from there up to there, and then back to there. And we've got a we got a line. Everyone's happy. Oh god, I may have gone. <laughs> what did I do with that bridge? It doesn't look happy. Yeah, but there is the first train. Do we have loads of people queuing up? Uh, no, no, we don't. But I'm sure once they know, once they know it exists, they will be straight on it and flying to our airport so they can fly. <laughs> Look at this hill as well. <laughs> it's so steep. Everyone can drive up it though. Even that guy with the caravan made it. And people walking, they don't seem to mind a sloop. It's good for the calves. Get the old blood pump in as well. All right, we've just cracked 3,000 people out of the 5,000 that we need. Now, there's only three active flights or four active flights now. <laughs> and yet our airport is this big with that many gates. Look, this plane has just landed. Fits under the bridge. No problems. Straight into that gate. Now, although I've just realized, actually, they can't get back out, can they? Yeah, so what I did, I only did ins or outs. I didn't do both. So we're just going to go a bit mental and add ins and outs to everywhere. <laughs> Yes, that's better. Because look, now when a plane arrives, you can see the people get off. You can see all the ladders and stuff. They're taking the luggage. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I can't believe I missed all this. And then I think it actually just waits for the next person rather than it disappearing into thin air like it was doing. Yeah, look, more planes are coming in now. I think we might have fixed it. Oh, this one's taking off again. So it turns around and then it follows the line out. We've got a little roundabout there. Nice. <laughs> what route are you taking, mate? <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just warming up the tires f1 style right oh and he's gone onto this runway okay and now the world's shortest takeoff mind the building Ooh. okay maybe maybe i should move that building <laughs> i love this zigzag that they do now whenever they take off <laughs> like must warm up tires oh why do you stop just because i was saying it there you go that's better thank you they all seem to be taking off there and then going into the building portal but yeah we're over three and a half thousand passengers so i think that's probably a good spot to end I feel like at the end of next time, we'll have a thriving airport and we'll be able to connect our lovely failing industrial area. Why is there no electricity? Oh, well, that's a problem for next time. <laughs> Peace, love and another level two airport. Bye, guys.